guys and welcome back to my channel. If you have not yet, please check out the intro. Uh, it's pretty long, but please check out the intro to this uh, series, the MCR B6TN project, because it will kind of explain why I'm doing this and what exactly it is. But for today, for this part of the series, I'm going to show you how to create these DIY B6 size inserts using no staples, no thread, no string, no glue, no nothing. Okay, um, I'm pretty proud of these. And then in a separate entry in the series, I'm going to show you how I made those covers and how I put the covers on the inserts. So this is the paper I used for these two particular inserts that I created. I used this black drawing paper. I found it at uh, Walmart. It was actually the last one. I was super stoked when I saw it. Um, and it's really like high quality paper because it is like, you know, it's drawing paper. It's pretty nice. It's way nicer than like straight up printer paper. Um, and I really wanted to do black paper for the, um, well, pretty much for the first three inserts. I wanted to do black paper for um, Bullets, Black Parade, or Bullets Revenge and Black Parade because you know, that just makes sense. Uh, and so I, uh, when I sat down to, to create the inserts with the paper, I, when I bought the paper, like my thought was, okay, I'm going to trim down the pages to size. You know, B6 is approximately five by seven. And so I will trim those pages down. Um, and then I'll, you know, I'll staple them together. and it'll, it'll all be great. And, um, well, my stapler sucks and it wasn't working and I was getting frustrated. Um, and this paper, by the way, as you see, is, uh, perforated. So that's, that's really nice. Um, and so I actually went on YouTube and I searched how to create a booklet without staples. And this wonderful video popped up and... I will put that video in the description and in the cards. Um, thank you so much to the creator of that video because it helped me to create these. I would not have been able to do that without you. So thank you. Um, and so for these uh, inserts, I'm going to show you how I how I did it here. But um, I used 10 sheets of paper because that's just about the size that I wanted my insert to be. So because it's a booklet and you're going to eventually fold it in half, it will be five by seven. So what you're going to want to do is take your paper. Again, I use 10 sheets. You can do as little or as many as you want. So you'll just need to measure. Um, it'll be seven inches tall and 10 inches long. And then I'm just using my little, my little uh, cheap, Walmart paper cutter gets the job done. So, you know, with these inserts, um, they're not going to look perfect. At least not the way that I do them. I don't want them to look perfect. I want this to be a very, like, DIY kind of thing. Um, and so I'm just continuing to trim the pages down here. And I'm going to do this uh, 10 times until they are all trimmed and then just set them aside. All right, so you're just going to set that piece aside and that will be your cover. And then um, just go ahead and trim the other nine sheets of paper or however many you have, the remaining sheets, um, and make them, you know, 10 by 7. And then once you're done with that, I will show you how you can put this booklet together without any staples or string or anything. All right, now all my pages are trimmed down to the correct size. So what you're going to want to do is just insert those pages inside of one another. Um, just like that, just kind of put them inside one another. And you'll see that on the edges there, um, they don't line up perfectly. This is what's called page creep. When you kind of put those pages inside one another, they kind of end up sticking out. Just from, you know, as you put them in, it kind of gets longer and longer. Um, and so what you can do for that is just use your paper trimmer. You can use a pair of scissors. Um, 
and just kind of trim that excess paper off the edges. For me, again, I, you know, for this project, it didn't really matter to me if they were perfectly even. I'm not selling these inserts. This is for me um, and my personal use. So I wasn't like super worried about it, but I did want to trim down the edges some. And so I do have a cheap paper cutter or paper trimmer. Uh, so it struggled to <laughs> get through all that thick paper. Cause again, this is way thicker than just regular printer paper. And I have 10 sheets of it, uh, all stacked together. So my, uh, my trimmer struggled a little bit, but that's all right. Uh, we, we got through it and then I, you know, I just kept doing it until I got the desired, uh, result. Okay, so now comes the fun part when we actually put the booklet together. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to measure two inches from the top and bottom. So just take one of those sheets, put your ruler right in the center, and then measure two inches from the top and two inches from the bottom and make a mark with either a pencil or whatever. I use the pencil. And then you're just going to want to connect those lines. Okay? And now what you're going to want to do is kind of put your thumbs over where you put the two little marks and bend it long ways, like hot dog style. And then kind of line the edges up and make sure it's kind of even, like the dots are straight across from one another on either side. And don't fully crease it, but crease it just enough so that you can cut it. So then just take any pair of scissors and just cut right along that line. Don't cut too far, but cut right to where you made that mark at the two inch line. Then you're going to open it back up and you have a hole in the center of your paper, right? Then you're going to put that to the side. That is going to be your cover. Now for the remaining pieces of paper, which will be the actual inside of your insert. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is with all those remaining pages, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to measure two inches from the top of the sheet and two inches from the bottom of the sheet. But this time, do not connect those dots or those marks that you made. Just leave them like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut the outside. So before with the cover, we cut a hole in the center. Now we're just going to cut slits on the top and bottom of the page. Just like that. Just cut right to wherever you made your marks. And then you will set that aside and then do that for the remainder of your sheets. Make sure that you put them inside one another. Don't just kind of stack them on top of each other. Make sure they kind of go inside one another like we did before when we were trimming them. Okay, once you have made all of your cuts on your, uh, you know, the pieces that are going on the inside and then you have your cover laid off to the side, take the pages and do just as I'm showing here, roll them, kind of tight but not too tight long ways like hot dog style into like you know a roll like that's like a diploma right and then what you're going to want to do this is like freaking magic right kind of hold those sheets together and take that first sheet that we cut the center out and put the entire roll through the center of that sheet and watch it unroll this blows my freaking mind. Now, you'll see here on mine, because I did use drawing paper that's a little thicker, it kind of leaves an ugly, like, bump there on the edge where I cut the center out. If you use straight up, like, printer paper, you won't have the same problem because it's not as thick and, like, you know, it's more flexible. Um, so what I'm going to do, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to put a cover on this anyway. So what I'm going to do is instead of wasting my beautiful washi tape... Since a cover will be underneath this, I'm just going to use straight up Dollar Tree invisible tape, okay? And I'm just going to put that on the spine of the booklet just to kind of help hold it together um, and, you know, just kind of keep that 
little bump kind of at bay so it doesn't start like tearing and fraying or whatever. Um, at first I was using a piece of washi and I'm like, but I'm going to cover this up. So what's the point in wasting my washi? So good old, just regular scotch or invisible tape will do. Then you just kind of fold it over on the other side. You can put one piece, multiple pieces, whatever you want. Kind of, you know, just totally your preference. This tape, again, this is the Dollar Tree visible tape. It's not the stickiest, especially on this paper. Um, but I'm really just trying to help, you know, keep it together and kind of put that, uh, that little bump in the center, kind of keep that at bay. So I'm just adding a second piece just for good measure. Um, keep it, keep it all together. And that just kind of helps it uh, keep its shape and helps uh, reinforce the spine a little bit. And then just trim off the uh, excess tape there on the ends. So now that you've done that and you have reinforced your spine a little bit, just you know, kind of press down on it, make sure it's on there pretty good. So this part is totally optional. You don't have to do this. But for me, where the actual center of the book is, um, you know, like when you buy a B6 in or any kind of, you know, TN insert, um, where, you know, it kind of binds together in the center, you'll see like little threads kind of going down and that's how you can tell it's the center of the booklet. Um, I really wanted to have something to signify that this is the actual center of the booklet and also kind of to help keep those pages down because, you know, obviously when you fold those pages to, um, create that roll that goes through to the center, it kind of bends up a little bit and it will flatten over time. You can put books on top of it once you're done and it's closed or whatever. Um, but I really just wanted to put something down the center to signify that it was the center. That is it. You have created your B6 inserts. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you are interested in learning how to, you know, from the very beginning of how I started scanning my items, and that's optional. You don't have to scan anything. You can just use images, um, but I scanned actual items that I had, you know, papers, um, clippings from magazines, CD booklets, all kinds of stuff. Um, if you want to see, you know, how I started from that to how I created the actual collages that I had planned to use for dashboards and for covers, as well as how to actually print, laminate, and put the covers on. Uh, be sure to stay tuned. Make sure you click the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned. I will be back with more. I'll see you next time. Oh, register to vote. Bye! Okay, I had some technical difficulties to say the least uh, while recording this. So enjoy this clip of Jimmy testing the microphone. And I'm just recording with the microphone. I'm recording with the microphone.